I'm just doing a quick video on the pickups I got at the IHS Doncaster show. I'm doing a voiceover because my audio on the camera wasn't very good. So this is a male Corgler which I purchased before the show but was able to pick it up at the show. He's got some interesting little patterns on, on him at certain points. Uh, and this next one is a vanilla pastel female. She's got quite a light coloured neck. And then it goes down to a sort of like darker colour, which is pretty cool. Don't think the camera brings it out on this, but looks much much nicer in in the flesh. And this one will be hopefully part of this coming year's breeding plans. So this was actually a second recording that I did of this, but the audio is still not great, so I'm doing a voiceover again. And this is the crested gecko I got while at the show. And most of the decor in the Exoterra is fake plants, barring the wood logs which I had spare from my snakes old enclosures which have been outside for quite a while and then I've got me the feeding ledge on the side and coconut up at the top with a couple of little vine plants that go down and the bottom's covered in moss, that keeps it nice and humid. And I've got a food dish up at the top there. It's a nice little ledge that it likes to climb on later on the night. I just thought I'd add this on to the end of the video, which is my homemade incubator. And it's made out of a fridge, which I've taken out the motor and all the other bits out of it on the inside. And then I put two panes of glass on the front, so I can look into it and keep an eye on what's going on inside. And then I've got the thermometer in the top and one in the bottom. And I've got heat cable, obviously to the excess just to run across the top. That bit's come undone a bit there. I have to get a bit more tape on there. So that runs down the back and down to the bottom. And then I've got my water bottles, which is on the top ones I get filled up with water later on. I've got, I've probably got about a couple of tubs in the middle, and maybe one or, one or two that I push on the top. And then my thermostat probes just sat on the top shelf there. I've got a little lock just there. It's just to stop any accidental catching and it opening. And then the thermostat is microclimate diva light I believe it is. And that's just not running at the moment, I'd have that switched on.
And thank you for watching and like and subscribe. That would be great. Thank you. Bye.